Good morning, my name is Chad. I teach fifth grade reading and writing at ASD. Um, last weekend, weekend before, I was given the opportunity to go to a Vicki Vinton conference in Oman in regards to grammar in the writing workshop. And I really, really enjoyed it. It kind of put labels on things that I've been trying in my class, in my writing workshop. And I came away with a, a lot of good ideas. I came back within two days and tried some of the ideas um, using language with the kids to play with sentences. And it was all about meaning. How do we use punctuation, grammar, all these things to make meaning? And as soon as you start talking about meaning with kids, they're more interested. You put it into context for them, make it meaningful, it's fun. Um, I basically came back and tried it with two classes and they were much more responsive than in the past as far as some of the other grammar things I've done and some of the understandings I came away with. It's not necessarily about identifying grammar as if we're correcting kids all the time, but being creative with the grammar to make meaning, the kind of meaning that we want. And I came away from the conference trying it and uh, I have a lot more ideas and things that I could could do with class, my classes. My connection with this is, I spent the weekend in Oman at a, at a conference, at a writing conference, and I really enjoyed it. We learned some different things about writing and I really, really enjoyed it, and I'm hoping that because I enjoyed it, this quote will come true, that I won't forget it, but I wanted to try some of those things I learned, not a lot of them, a couple of them, just today, to try to see. So. We still have our same agreements in writing right now. I'm going to ask if you have a comment or an observation and you put your hand up and you don't call out because some of this stuff's going to be fun, right? Um, and we'll just go from here. We're just going to try it. Because it was fun for me, I'm thinking it'll be fun for you. All right, so I'm just going to put some things up. I don't want to see your reactions to them. Um, if you wanted to write any of this down, feel free to use your paper. It's OK. Put your hand up if you have a reaction to any of this. <laughs> Danny, what do you think? Um, since comma is really useful because... Comma is really useful. It actually says punctuation saves lives. Why is it useful? Because it says you're going to eat grandma. Instead of saying grandma. Okay. Eat. So I went to the Standards Based Assessment Institute with Carol Commodore, um, specifically for physical education. And it was a really, really valuable weekend to spend some time with an assessment specialist, uh, simply for the fact that it um, re-emphasises that what we're doing is on the correct path, but it also highlights the fact that we need to have really um, specific learning targets for our kids to provide a blueprint for not only our teaching, um, but our activities and their learning. Um, involving the kids in the assessment process was a big part of the um, conference and something that we're really looking forward to implementing in physical education. My name is Berna Hijazi and I teach Arabic as a foreign language in elementary grade one to five. After attending this wonderful workshop for Dr. Carol Commodore, I believe as an educator that setting a clear target will help the students achieve their goals successfully. From there, each student will have a specific goal to work on in order to improve their learning uh, skills. My name is Gretchen Body. I teach in the Social Sciences Department in the high school at ASD. Um, specifically, I teach a lot of the IB Psychology courses. Uh, in Muscat, I attended the Mindfulness Workshop uh, with Kristen Fort Katnisi. And um, some big things that I took away were basically the fundamentals to mindfulness uh, and the way that that applies to education, which is the idea of being mindful, of teaching mindfully, and then finally of teaching mindfulness. Um, something that was a good recognition was that it's not just about the students being mindful or learning to be mindful, it's about all of us being mindful together, which I think is important to keep in mind um, for the larger school community that, can, that parents, teachers, um, you know, all community members are involved in this process. Um, the workshop was excellent in giving lots of small tools for teaching mindfulness. Uh, one of the things I thought was most significant was the idea of attention. Um, and 
giving our kids the time and space to take a moment to recognize where their attention is as they move throughout a very busy day, um, acknowledging that they move throughout a very busy day, and the idea that attention isn't necessarily uh, in your mind, it's wherever you choose to put it in a given moment. So taking that time and space to perhaps breathe for a mi minute and refocus and think about um, where our attention is or where we would like to put it could be really significant for uh, their experience in the classroom and over the course of a school day. Hi, my name is Samar and I teach AFL in the middle school. Um, I went to the workshop uh, because I really wanted to improve on my assessment. Uh, after teaching, there's an uh, assessment that's going to uh, assess student on the learning. So I don't want it to be really uh, better at this. Uh, so rubric, um, it's uh, one of the things that really uh, give a good feedback uh, for student and for me as well. Uh, for student to say exactly what he's going to be uh, assessed on uh, and to be expected what he's going to be assessed on so it's not a mystery for him. And also if there's anything that he needs to improve on, he can really exactly point at it and know what is the thing that he did not do well and so on. And for me also, give me a feedback where I need to work better with that student to make his learning, to improve on the learning. So um, I see it, uh, I saw the workshop very beneficial for me uh, and I'm really now spending so much time on making my rubric uh, detailed um, and descriptive where the student see every single thing that has been assigned or he has been assigned on.